So we are back. <laughs> Another episode of Driving with Ty. And our special guest of Elliot today. Uh, Elliot, yeah. say, say hi to the uh, camera. Can you actually show your face? I don't think you showed your face. You didn't peek out like that. Yeah, can you much. peek? Can you please peek? Please. Peek a peek. Peek a chain. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, ah, I'm over this. So today uh, we're, we're on a bit of a, a economic kick. Uh, so we're, we're, we're talking about economics. Um, the reason why uh, is because, um, you know, I really, uh, like, was spurred to talk about this because I was uh, watching a, well, listening to, a, like, the podcast of um, The Scavenger Life, and they were kind of talking about, like, what to do when the economy is kind of, like, recessing or going bad. Like, how oh, okay. do you deal with that as, like, an eBay, uh, you know, seller? And we're, we're eBay sellers as well, so... Um, it's just interesting for them to talk about that topic. And I wanted to kind of dig back into the past and, and kind of bring up a term. And I was saying to myself, I wonder if, like, I know these things because I actually, you know, read a lot up on the economy and I, and I like economic topics. So right. I was thinking, like, well, hey, I wonder if Ty and Elliot knows these things. And this will be a great topic for the show. So, I mean, what do you guys think? You think that's a good, good thing to kind of dive into? Like, just to say, like, hey, logic sounds good. Let's just talk about something cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. So today I wanted to ask, what is quantitative easing? See, I knew you was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was going to do it. I should have said, why did I say yes? What? Elliot, any thoughts about quantitative easing? Quantitative Just guess. Just guess. What, I mean, oh what does it, like, let's just break it down. Quantita uh, quantitative. Is so something to do with. How, yeah, how yeah. big, a little. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Easing. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Elliot, <laughs> Elliot, stop looking at. This is like the worst thing ever. Like the because we got I you a phone. I'll guess. I'll guess. I'll guess. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> it says something about quantitative easing. So I'm guessing easing is like slowly doing something. So maybe it has to do with like money, and it's like slowly like giving or taking money or something. I don't know. That what it is. Yeah, but I know you totally like looked it up, but that's okay. Um, yeah, but I didn't get to read it. Yeah, but <laughs> but easing. Something about money. I mean I easing. Know. I mean easing. It's like relieving pressure or relieving okay. pain or, or something. So so why is this important? Why why do you think I'm I'm trying to ask you about quantitative easing? So that we can know, like, if we're being affected. Okay, but what was some? Uh, we also talked about uh, in another episode. We talked about uh, the local uh, multiplier effect. So, so why do you think I'm kind of talking about these two things from a like a, a topic perspective? <clears throat> you want us to keep our dollars and build our communities. Keep our dollars inside the communities to build our communities. Yeah, that's a that's a. I mean, yes, that that's one thing. Um, and it's just more of just to kind of raise awareness about like some of the things that were uh, happening in the past. So quantitative easing, yes. Uh, due to the fact that we were having a credit crunch, meaning that banks had money, but because we had a lot of toxic loans, they became very restrictive in the amount of dollars that they would loan out. Well, that's a huge problem because local businesses need very short-term loans that they're willing to pay some, yes, yeah, some interest, not really necessarily high, but oh, okay. short term loans, uh, you know, that's really, uh, you talked about it before, like, how is this affecting uh, small businesses? Uh, yeah, we kind of talked about the dollars circulating in the community is really, really great for uh, small businesses yeah. because their base is normally local, so that's good. But when you look at it from the perspective of, of quantitative easing, this is a technique that uh, a government can do to help when there is a credit crunch. And so what you do is you put dollars into the community and you do it in such a way where you're, you're easing some, some issue. And the issue happened to be that we had the credit crunch. So it wasn't a lot of dollars being, um, being uh, like produced or loaned out by banks, but this allowed us to infuse dollars in the local communities because where do you think most people spend, like whenever they get money, their discretionary money. They got 20 bucks, they got 100 bucks, they got 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. Where are they going to spend it? More than likely, they're going to spend it at like the malls and stuff like that. Which are within like 5 to 10 miles of where they live. That's, uh, I'll, I'll actually, like, if I can find the research that I saw that, like, uh, yes, I'll, I'll add it in the description below. 
But um, uh, the reason why um, I think this is like super important is because of the fact that, uh, you know, we actually had to shift from like neoclassical economics uh, to uh, a different approach. And, and we talked about it last time of uh, John Maynard Keyes. He actually uh, wrote about this and uh, he, he actually wrote a book on this. This was really, really amazing. And let me make sure I look up the name right because I always get it wrong. But uh, his book is uh, The General Theory of Employment, Interest, and Money. So that's a great book. You should read it. Um, a lot of the uh, topics that he came up with or, or the ideas that he came up with, we actually employed it in uh, the recession of 2008. Oh, okay. And uh, quantitative easing was one uh, you know, big thing. And uh, so that's what I really wanted to, to cover just to kind of, you know, kind of set up like our next one because this is kind of like out in left field but uh you know i think it's a pretty cool topic and i think it really saved us from the brink of uh economic collapse in the u.s um because if we didn't get those dollars i don't think the market would have corrected itself mm -hmm. so that's what i wanted to share about the topic did you guys want to share anything else or any thoughts or anything or? Yeah, he said no <laughs> he said no Okay, cool. All right, so thanks for watching. If you have anything that you would like to add to the conversation, if you would like to, you know, ask questions or, or give me a rebuttal of, of why you don't think we should have quantitative easing, please, like, either video response or email me, like, hit me up on Twitter, something. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate your time. Well, actually, we appreciate your time. So, yes. um, you know, if you like it, please click click the like button, subscribe to the channel, <laughs> and thanks. Bye. Bye.